Welcome. All right, so when looking at this, again, what this is asking us is 27 raised to what power gives us 3? And that can be pretty, pretty difficult because we know, you know 27 to the first power is going to equal 27. And if I do 27 to any other higher power, I know that number is just going to get larger. If I do 27 to the negative first power, that's 1 over 27. And that's going to be a decimal. It's going to be less than 1. And if I do any other higher number, or to the negative second, or negative third, or negative fourth, that no, those numbers are going to keep on getting smaller and smaller and smaller. All right, and um, that's going to keep on getting smaller and smaller to zero. So it's never getting close. The closest I get to, the closest I'm going to get to three is having a number of zero. So how am I going to be able to determine 27 raised to what power? equals 3. So what we can do from here is try to use our 1 to 1 properties for exponents and try to determine, can I rewrite 27 raised to or 27 as a number with, uh, with a base of 3? Well, we know that we can rewrite 9 as a base of 3 as 3 squared. So 27 we can rewrite as a number with base 3 raised to the third power. So that's going to be 3 cubed raised to the x equals 3. Therefore, by properties of exponents, I can multiply these. So that's going to give me 3x equals 3. Now, that's to the first power. Use my 1 to 1 property, so I have 3x equals 1. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 1 third. So the answer here is 1 third. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate a logarithm. Thanks.